You know, I was saying that it's so beautiful to see so many young brothers and sisters, and you know, especially because the sisters, mashallah, tabarakallah. You know, sisters are holding it down. Sisters, they love coming to conferences. They love. We see them. We see our sisters excelling in dawah, in education, in fields of Islam. You know, sisters, mashallah, tabarakallah. Honestly, they just never cease to amaze me. But you know, the brothers, on the other hand. Right? Our sisters are, mashallah, hafidah, this and that. Our brothers are champion in 2K. That's, that's you know, that's... That's, that's the, unfortunate, the unfortunate reality of, of where we place priorities. And for a young man, for a young man specifically, you know, there are a lot of very unfortunate, um, I would say, misgivings and teachings that we give our young men. The way we teach young men, especially in this society, is very problematic. You know, as a young man, for example, I was taught that you're not allowed to cry. You ever heard this before? So our young men, we grew up with this idea that if anything happens in your life, something crazy happens, somebody dies, whatever, you cannot express emotion, right? And you have young men who grow up thinking this. And so when they get married, when they have families, they still have this sense of, I cannot express my emotions. And this is completely against the sunnah, by the way. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi he would cry many times. There's many narrations of him showing his love and emotions to his friends and family. So I wrote this poem that I wrote especially for the young men. Because I want to give them that tarbiyah. I want them to understand their roles and responsibilities coming into this world. So I'll share this piece with them, inshallah. And sisters, you're allowed to listen as well. This is obviously every, for everybody. But for the young men specifically, this poem is called uh, Boys Don't Cry. Yeah. I heard them say that big boys don't cry But don't dry your eyes, little guy And realize these ain't nothing but lies Real men do cry Because when tears fall from your eyes It's a sign that your heart is still alive So just be a man But how? When masculinity and femininity have become more confusing than the trinity, we teach little boys to become tough and be soldiers in our wars but get upset when their aggression has them breaking down doors and still society cannot decide if we even really like nice guys because they always finish last and are always treated like trash and we have no problems dancing to the music that objectifies women but can't understand why our men are addicted to pornographic images and we keep singing them same old love songs when really our love is gone more than half of marriages ending in divorce the other half just barely holding on and this is no bull feces. Men are becoming an endangered species, replaced by a generation of lost boys who don't ever want to grow old. But you're a man, and you're supposed to be bold. Unless your mother tells you otherwise, and you just do as you are told and eat your vegetables and show the world you ain't no sissy. And the first chance that you get, make sure you lose your virginity because, like any good soldier, we are defined by our weapons. And a man who doesn't fire his will always have you second guessing because yes, it's a man's world. But we all came from the womb of a girl, from a room in a world where we grew and like pearls, we were groomed and with love from a clot into lungs and the tongues that we sprung to young from among everyone. So a son would still be nothing without his mum and Adam was not complete until he finally had Eve and a man is not a king if his woman is not a queen. So respect this very gift and do not bite the hand that feeds because to disrespect a woman is to disrespect humanity like when Adam and Eve made the mistake of eating from the forbidden tree. Adam's first instinct was to ask Allah for forgiveness instantly because real men accept responsibility and can admit when they are wrong while boys are always making excuses, singing that same old song and notice Adam never abused Eve physically, emotionally, or verbally. He just took it like a man because that's how a man's supposed to be and being a man is so much more than puberty because any male can help make a baby but only a man can teach him to succeed and a man is not always rich but real men do not like to beg real men would rather sweat and gain little than live in someone else's debt and they know why they exist 
As Allah taught Adam the names of all things because for men knowledge is power, the basis of self-esteem and you can say, I don't know. Because sometimes you just won't. And it's okay to ask for help because real men don't need to struggle all alone. I will teach my son that true strength only comes from God and humility does not mean you're weak. In fact, it means you understand exactly who you are. The strongest one is not the one who can wrestle or lift heavy weights. The strongest one is the one who can hold his temper in a fit of rage and real men have courage. But it doesn't mean they don't get scared. It just means that when the going gets tough, you know they'll always be there and yes, it's okay to cry and not because you're weak or wrong but because perhaps you have been strong for just way too long. So have faith in his plan and leave the rest in his hands. You don't have to be Superman, you just have to be a man. And in God we trust. Thank you very much.